It might not be the highlight of the new Aerotropolis, but without it, planes don't fly and homes can't be built. Sydney's Advanced Waste Recycling Centre is almost finished, soon to be servicing the businesses and residents of Bradfield and beyond. For 400,000 people, every time they have a shower or flush the toilet, this is where it'll end up. This is a $1.2 billion investment to treat uh, critical wastewater servicing for Western Sydney and, and the Western Sydney Aerotropolis. You won't find the state-of-the-art bioreactor or filtering plants at Kemp's Creek on any brochures for the new Aerotropolis, but in its own way, it's the unsung hero of the boom area. You know, there's the M12, the airport, the Metro West line from St Mary's down to the airport. This is going to be a whole new hub and precinct. So I think for us at Sydney Water, we just want to cater for that and, uh, and be future ready. At this wastewater centre, nothing goes to waste. Sewage is purified, then pumped into the Nepean River or over to Malabar. What's left behind can even be turned into fertiliser. We break that down into a, a mixture called like a biosolid structure. Uh, and that gets used for compost, like you said, and uh, we can use it in agricultural purposes, depending on the quality and uh, where we can use it. Another one of the features that makes this facility so unique is that half the power here will come from a solar farm on site. Here, there are 7,500 panels generating around four megawatts of energy. We tap that energy from the solar into the plant itself once we start operations. That's expected to be sometime next year, treating around 14 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of wastewater every day. James Wilson, Nine News.